YouTube Live is going, and Podcast Audio is going. All right. All right. And it's on you. All right. Oh, I gotta... Let's see. What are we... What are we doing here? It's Free Thought Thursday. I think I'm probably gonna close with some social justice rants because I'm feeling a little ranty. Some things are kind of pissing me off as far as maintaining the integrity of safe spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of y'all really suck at it and I don't like it. (laughs) So I have that coming. Yes. This show is fucked up. And then, of course, news, comments. I hope y'all are checking out the website, winecellarmedia.com. I posted a bunch of news today. So if you want to keep informed, please check that out. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're going, right? Yeah. We should do a trigger warning and all that. Okay. All right. This so is all that. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. In Father Teresa's wine cellar, we believe all oppression is intersectional. And this means our analysis of current events frequently includes discussion of difficult and explicit content. Any combination of the following topics could be included in our show. Murder, rape, war, climate change, racism, sexism, violence, sexual violence, homophobic violence, heterocentrism, discrimination and abuse against individuals of nonconformist sexuality, domestic violence, child abuse, child rape, child neglect, elderly abuse, verbal abuse, police brutality, microaggressions, ableism, cyberbullying, genital mutilation, ideological extremism, and people just being total fucking assholes. Yes, people being total fucking assholes. Ah, I don't still... It's been two years. I still don't have a fucking all right. You don't have to have one. <sighs> there's like no transition. It's horrible. No, there's not. Uh, you just the, made that up. I did not. What? What are you talking about? Any fucking ways. Um, yeah, news as usual is a little fucking wild. So I guess we'll just start. Um, the holiday season is upon us, right? I think everybody's ready. Everyone's buying their Christmas presents. Did you know that if you're a xenophobe, there's a company that caters to you, William? Wait, a what? A xenophobe. That caters to me. Yeah, if you are one. There is a company that will help you in your racism and your xenophobia. I'm afraid of magazines. (laughs) That's xenophobia, right? No. But when I see magazines... No. I'm like, oh no, essence. Oh my goodness, vibe. Who the source? I scared. No. Xenophobia. That's, that's not no. Yes. No, William. All right. Well, what what fiction did you make up? Uh, I made up fiction that apparently there is a conservative toy company called Keep and Bear, as in Keep and Bear the Second Amendment, I guess, or Arms or free speech or American flags. I don't really fucking know. Uh, There's a lot of options. So they have created a toy just in time for the holidays. I don't know if you're ready, but y'all can buy uh, a Lego knockoff kit called Build the Wall for $29.95. Wait. Yeah. Okay, so Lego didn't make this. Yeah, they totally ripped off Lego's um, logo. And it says, you know, the M-A-G-A, the MAGA, MAGA, however the fuck you say it. Okay. Yeah, and it says that instead of Lego, and it's very clearly, like, meant to look like Lego blocks. Ah. Yes. Yes. And it's called Build the Wall. And the funny thing to me, though, is um, it's literally just a bunch of blocks, because it's literally only the wall and, like, Donald Trump, like a little Lego Donald Trump. A hundred gray <laughs> pieces to build the wall. There's nothing else there. Um, oh my god. <laughs> yes. Dude, really? Yeah, like if you look at the pictures of it, uh, it's actually on the website. If you go to winecellarmedia.com, there's pictures of it on the website. It's literally like a black platform and just gray blocks for the wall and the Lego guy. Like that's the whole thing. <laughs> Does it, well, it says ages five and up. Yes. Today's five-year-old 
after logging off of YouTube and having high definition, <laughs> amazing entertainment blasted in their face. Yes. This is for them. This is probably for the homeschool kids. <laughs> so Keepin' Bear has uh, a build the wall Lego set. And then, and then they have a promotional blah, blurg, blog, blurb, excuse my words here, blurb about um, the motivation behind the blocks. It's as horrible as you would expect. And because I had to read it, y'all have to listen to it. A mob of 10,000 Central American migrants is marching through Mexico, heading toward El Paso, Texas. The Mexican border agents attempt to stop them at the Mexican border, but to no avail. We understand why they want to flee Honduras and live and work in America. After all, we are the greatest nation on Earth. In the interest of national security, however, we cannot just allow anyone and everyone to cross our borders. While there are good people attempting to enter our nation, there are also gangs, criminals, and terrorists. Everyone who wants to enter our country must enter legally for the safety of all. The wall must be built. The wall will keep America safe and strong. Only then will we be able to help those in need. We are pleased to announce the launch of a brand new line of toys, MAGA Building Blocks. This toy makes the great Christmas gift for your kids and grandkids. I didn't make that shit up. This shit is on their fucking website. You think they might actually have a commercial? I really, we, I really should have did actual show prep, but I had a bust my ass day at work today. You know, we should, you know what? Over the weekend, we should go to the website because I was on, because I saw this and I was like, I need to fact check this shit, right? So I actually went to the website. And you know the websites that have the pop up. Um, if you have questions, just type it in the box, like the instant uh, messenger shit. They have that as soon as you uh, go onto their website. Like, do you have any questions? Like we should just fucking troll the fuck out of them. Ask them questions. <laughs> yes. Get them to come on the show. <laughs> We should, we should ask the questions and just read the fucking chat log back. That could possibly be fun. And shout out to the homie, the dancer, over there in the um, archive chat space in the Wine Cellar Podcast friends group on the face booze. Is there... Wait, does Twitter have groups? I think I've asked you this before and you answered um, in full. Twitter doesn't really have groups, but you can put people on lists. And then the other option is just basically... Um, Putting people like you can put multiple people into like a private DM uh, direct message thread, and it almost is like a forum where you just you know you comment as you comment, and then your shit shows up. I'm in actually a few of those, so yeah. Huh. But it's not like a group group. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, KeepinBear.com launched in the summer of 2016 as a marketing tool for Keep and Bear the movie, a documentary that theorizes. Gun ownership is more than a constitutional right. All right. Well, let's let's check out this audio. It's 55 seconds. Okay. Plus, they may look like Legos, but these building blocks are a little different. The toy company that's making the holidays great again. Wait till you hear about this. And what? take a look at this. A conservative company, Keep and Bear, introducing a new line of toys, encouraging kids to build the wall with... Ma this is Fox News covering this. I just found the leak on Mediaite right now. Mega building blocks. The set comes with a President Trump figurine and a Make America Great Again hard hat. That's interesting. Look at that. Yep. You like Who toys. Knew? Yeah. All right. A gift for the kids or for, like, the Trump voter? Both. All right. I think you're I guess. right. A little of both. <laughs> yeah, the Trump voter. Well, five and up. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. There's, yeah. a, there's another clip, but I don't know if it's also Fox News. It's the same length of time, I'm guessing so. Yeah. And then, of course, I guess they also have all uh, other um, toys they sell. They have, like, a Hillary thing, and it says, like, lock her up, and there's, like, something about her emails. Like, it's a fucking wild website. Like, it's really, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's mm -hmm. having a good time. Everyone is having a good time. And uh, no one has called in. I'm refreshing that page and mm -hmm. um, paying attention to it on a separate screen. Yes. A cracked screen because boys exist. <laughs> boys do exist. Jesus Christ. Louis C.K., you motherfucker. I know, right? right? Like, yeah. every time we think of some shit, it's like, oh, we could point back to a Louis C.K. quote, but a kind of, you know, but fuck that guy, though. <laughs> yes, it's horrible. Yeah, man. 
All yeah. right. Um, I'm actually just like looking on Twitter right now to see if anybody responded when I tweeted about said, "Hey, we're doing a podcast." And remember, projecting your voice to that microphone I'm not as well. Projecting? My, no, I don't want to. Yeah, so the dancer homie can hear you. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, oh, okay, yeah. No comments. All right. Um, I see. I hate that shit. I feel like I'm <clears throat> yelling, man. I don't like yelling. No, that's because you are. We, we're yelling. We're, and, and when you're yelling, I check the decibels and adjust them accordingly. I don't like yelling. We're yelling. I don't want to yell. What the fuck? That's we're, what we got to do, man. Let's have a fucking podcast where we just fucking yell at people. Yes. That, yeah. When we're guests on people's shows, <laughs> we damn are right. Loud. That's, we are loud. That's why we, we don't get called back very often. We don't. That's why I think Katie Halper's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. She said we go back. I'm like, really? All okay. right. Okay. Yeah, fuck your shit up. It's going to get worse. Um, Hey, this is somewhere you lived for a brief time, New Jersey. Oh, gee, real brief. Yeah. So, uh, New Jersey, this is hashtag good cops. Uh, 20,000 New Jersey DUI cases may be tossed after police are accused of evidence tampering. Good thing that there wasn't a lot of cases involved or anything. It's only 20,000. No big fucking deal. Christ. It's Free Thought Thursday. In the wine cellar. So, Trenton, New Jersey, more than 20,000 breathalyzer tests might be tossed out after it was discovered the machines were apparently not properly calibrated. New Jersey State Police Sergeant Mark Dennis allegedly mishandled the devices that determined the driver's blood alcohol content, uh, according to the state Supreme Court Tuesday. Uh, Sergeant Mark Dennis was in charge of calibrating the devices, and authorities have alleged he skipped a required step in the calibration process. Dennis has denied any wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to records tampering and other charges. The accusations against Dennis called into question any test involving a machine he handled, including devices used by local police in Middlesex, Monmouth, Ocean, and Somerset, and Union. This shit sounds fucking British as fuck. Monmouth, Somerset, and Ocean. Well, that was the first part where they landed and started fucking shit up, right? Yeah, but you couldn't even fucking come up with your own goddamn names. Really? No. 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 You have to call it by our stuff. We call it your names after we kill you. That's, That's what they do. True, actually. Like um, a whole bunch of black streets are going to be renamed like Jamal and shit. Jamal? <laughs> well, we already have it. I'm okay. Yeah, you got in every hood. Yes. Uh, the sergeant pleaded not guilty in January 2017 to official misconduct uh, and records tampering charges after he was accused in 2016 of lying about the breathalyzer machines on official documents. The court's decision means that as many as 20,667 driving under the influence convictions could now be challenged according to state authorities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Supreme Court sided with Judge Joseph... Well, I mean, Judge Joseph Lisa. Okay. It's weird when your last name is a woman's first name. It's a little weird. Makes Why? Sense. Because it's difficult when you're reading it because you're like, wait, it was Joseph or it was Lisa. Like, wait, who's the person? And then it's like, oh, it's Joseph Lisa. So oh. It took me like a I was like, wait. You don't know. I, I oh, do. Oh, binary ass nigga. I'm reading it right now. It just happened to me. I thought I had a typo because I said he instead of she. And I was like, wait, it's Lisa. Oh, no, it's not Lisa. It's a fucking thing. Uh, Lisa needs braces. <laughs> Dental plan. That's how you find out who's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Judge Joseph Lisa, who was appointed as a special master to handle the issue, he found uh, the step of mission raised substantial doubts about the reliability of the machines. As part of the decision, the justices ordered state authorities to notify anyone whose case involved results from machines that Dennis calibrated. They must tell them that uh, those results were not scientifically sound so they can decide whether they want to go to court and seek to have their convictions vacated. Yeah, good cops. Yeah? All right. And so far, my, um, my microphone is behaving properly so far, but I did title this episode specifically for... Um, you know, like if it if it gets goofy, right? Oh, oh, oh my shadow! Who oh, just for a second I thought that was the big fat black ghost? That show is funny. Huh? I don't and know. Wildly inappropriate. Um <laughs> yes. Oh here we go. Would you like a little uh eco news? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Wednesday, West Coast crab fishermen filed a lawsuit against 30 different fossil fuel companies uh, saying that they are to blame for several years of delayed seasons and disastrous economic causes, uh, losses due to ocean warming. 
Eh? Wait, a second. Wait, what company? It just, it didn't even say which one. It's like 30 different companies, literally 30 different companies. So capitalists are suing capitalists because of what capitalism did. Uh, I think these are like independent fishermen. Oh. Like they own their own boats and have their own independent crews and... Oh, well, welcome to the, the <laughs> you're gonna lose. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna lose, but also this is why unions matter. <laughs> I don't even know if they have a, if they have an option, but... Hey, y'all better is... fucking intercontinental class action that shit. Yes. Uh, according to the lawsuit, the scientific linkage between combustion of fossil fuels and ocean warming, which leads to demoic acid impacts our fisheries, is clear, said Noah Oppenheim, executive director of the Pacific Coast Federation of Fishermen's Associations. All right, they don't have unions. They have associations. Associations are good. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said, we know it, and it's time to hold the industry accountable for the damage they have caused. Uh, West Coast crab fishermen have experienced significant losses during the past three years, starting in the 2015 season when algae blooms caused by warm ocean temperatures resulted in an acid outbreak that caused a months long delay. The season was partially delayed again in 2016 for the same reason. <clears throat> in California, uh, the crab industry brought in over $47 million in 2017 and $83 million in 2016. The amount was down $17 million in 2015 during the industry's first major problem with acid. Hmm. Oppenheim uh, further stated that the closure cost the industry $110 million in lost revenue. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and apparently between California and Oregon, there are about 1,000 crab permit holders. Huh. Yeah. I wonder if they're, you think they're going to win? No. No. Not, not at all? Not a chance. But it's in California. Yeah. Yeah, it's in California. I mean, California did. What the fuck was that shit they did? They did some, like, liberal bullshit with this last election. It was, like, um, voting to eliminate rent controls, but voting for something about, like, animal shelters. Oh, fuck, I don't some remember. Shit. It was some shit like that. I know they voted to stop rent control, <laughs> which is going to be great. That's going to help the homeless problem. Yeah, they're going to cater to the bill. I mean, we recently mentioned that fucking in drought times, the walnut trees still get all their water. Yes. They're going to they go do. with big business. They do. It's kind of like how New York is catering to Bezos right now for that Amazon headquarters shit. Or like that shit I, um, I looked for an update. There was no update because there was no attempt to clean it up. But like some water that goes around New York City is like filled with shit. It's mm. like its own garbage patch. And a lot of it is the, um, the exfoliating shit that be in soap. Really? Yeah. So I'm part of the problem. You are part of the problem. Yeah. It's okay. I get my fucking shea scrub face stuff because I'm, I'm black. Yes. Shea butter Twitter. You are on shea butter Twitter. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say it and you beat me to it, you motherfucker. But aren't I Rose Twitter? Shea um, butter Twitter's to the right of me. Fuck them. That I doesn't mean, even actually exist. That's, that's yeah, some that's bullshit Ricky says. It's not like real. Yeah, it's not <clears throat> a real thing. It's just anyone who kind of is loosely affiliated with feminism and or women's rights and or not slut shaming women and or sex worker rights which are not necessarily a cohesive group of people yeah and people yeah that's the yeah. thing people he just de disagrees with are coons mammies bed winches and shea butter twitter and moist and studs that's ah. just everyone he disagrees with is that basically yeah because he's still i mean and on some level Tariq nasheed really never stopped being a pimp now yeah. he just maxed to his audience. Yeah. And um and then he still presents himself very much as a pimp, like with the two cis women co-hosts. Mm -hmm. And then there's another cis woman that I think might be a producer behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he brings her on camera to show her off. Mm-hmm. You know, like he still very much functions as a pimp. He just fucking washed the money. Right. That's it. Which is interesting to me that nobody ever like acknowledges that when he does like photo shoots with his two female co-hosts. Like it's very like, they're, like, leaned up against him, you yeah. know, or, like, he's in the car, and they're, like, leaning against the car. And I'm like, nigga, I and see it. And he still keeps the imagery. I see it. Um, but, you know, he's about that pro-blackness, because that's pro-black is. He's a black pimp. Yeah. 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 I mean, what? That's like, um, oh, shit, there's no A in that. I was going to try to acronym it. All right. <laughs> oh, well, that happens. Um... So, anyways, back to this. 
Um, the lawsuits filed by the firm Sheer Edling claims that the defendants, which include Chevron and Exxon Mobil, uh, have known about the harm they have caused by climate change for 50 years. Uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions is a global issue and requires global participation and actions. Lawsuits like this filed by trial attorneys against an industry that provides products we all rely upon to power the economy simply do not do that, said Scott Silvestri, a corporate media relations manager of Exxon Mobil. Okay. Uh, apparently, I did not know this. I didn't read the whole article. Obviously. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the cities of San Francisco and Oakland have also filed lawsuits against five oil companies early this year, seeking to recover the cost of paying for seawalls to fend off sea level rise. Oh. Those lawsuits were thrown out by a federal judge in June who said that the courts couldn't decide who should be held accountable for an issue as big as climate change. Well, also, there's precedent with NAFTA. Anyway, like you can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, actually, the company can sue you, but you can't sue the company. Mm-hmm. Like, and and if you do go through with it, they, they can counter sue. Like, you can't fucking do it. it this is this is how McMurica was set up and how it is uh, maintained. Yes. And maintained best by Democrats. Hmm. Well, the modern day Democrats. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you. Huh. At least we're not Republicans. All right, and there goes uh, Fallon Matthew FallonKitty.com. Uh, we put a link. To uh, FallonKitty.com did a new post, um, mm-hmm. but I think it's called The Kids Aren't Alright. Okay. I was reading it while I was at break today, and uh, so we link that to uh, the WineCellarMedia.com Facebook page and the Social Dissonance, A Critical Analysis of Justice mm-hmm. Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And um, shit, man, I need to fucking Twitter that shit too. Twitter that shit? Yes, ma'am. You can uh, While you're making notes, can you make a note to remind me to Twitter that shit? Uh, yes. I'm actually literally writing Twitter that shit. And I'm pretty sure Donald Trump, he tweets while shitting, which is, it's tweeting and pooping. It's twooping. Twooping? Yes, ma'am. Twooping. <laughs> okay. It's twooping. Hell yeah, man. All right. That's why he's such a potty mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. You say your mic is working. Do you want to read a story or no? Uh, I'll give it a go. Why do I have to read it? Because you have better voices. I don't have voices. Jesus Christ over here with these fucking guys. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's either that one or the Florida one. You get to pick. Yeah, I get you a fucking, a a guy who just worked a fucking (laughs) nine and a half hour shift who can do both. (laughs) Uh, And Phoenix Cleeter put this on winesillamedia.com and it's uh, listed under social issues and white terrorist now maybe you recognize this tune if i was a black man a very very black man and the police would want to see me shot but i am not a black man a very very black man so i can simply walk right down the block it's the fiddler on the roof mm-hmm. and a um a man created a panic at a baltimore theater after yelling heil hitler how Trump! During an intermission of the classic play Fiddler on the Roof, which is set in a Jewy, Jewy, Jewish little village <laughs> in Cesarist Rusha. Uh, an audience member named Rich Schur said the outburst during the intermission at the uh, Hippodrome Theater on Wednesday prompted fears that it was uh, the beginning of a shooting. That's a very logical thought. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Schur said the man seated in the balcony was behind the commotion. Somebody should have threw his ass off the motherfucking balcony. Mm. Ain't nobody gonna snitch, nigga. Walk out. Don't even run. Um, <clears throat> he described uh, stunned audience members freezing in fear when the man began shouting minutes into the intermission. See, as a person like me, and I know, uh, no victim blaming, I'm just saying who I is be. Mm-hmm. If I'm sitting behind you and you're the guy that stands up and we're on a balcony and you're on high Hitler, I'm kicking your ass off the balcony. <laughs> and it, it, and it's because I, as a person that has had many violent attacks come my way, I'm always thinking about them happening. Mm-hmm. So I'm always on edge anyway. You know, like, um, been, you know, beat up by skinheads and all that shit. Bullies in school and, uh, drive-bys in the hood, all that gangster shit, everything. Jumped by Bloods and Eastside Tacoma, all that shit. So, 
one little doofy ass white man standing up yelling some goofy shit, I'ma kick you right in your fucking bunghole and send you off that damn balcony. Because that's just where my head already is because I've been victimized so much that I'm just fucking reflexive. But I don't even think it has to be a reflex. I think that is a logical reaction because the last time somebody started yelling hell, hail, Heil Hitler with some anti-Semitic shit, they shot up a synagogue like two weeks ago. Yeah. Like, the fuck? And I'm not even religious. I'm not getting shot because I want to hear songs. Right? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, uh, dooba doop skip bop flibbity doo. And so this was, a. Uh, quote uh, this is a quote from the same guy still talking um mr sure uh everybody just got really really quiet and then i heard this guy screaming how hitler how trump and um and this was in a thursday telephone interview when the man also yelled maga and make america great again um, a few dozen people started running for the exits, um, according to Mr. Schur, while others began calling for security. Those were the white people that are not Jewish. <laughs> those, were, <laughs> those were the Protestants and Catholics. Oh, what the hell is going on here? It's preposterous. All right. That's how they sound in Baltimore. Yeah. I voted for Bernie in the primary and Hillary in the general. I don't have to tolerate this. Get civil, sound? buddy. Is that how they sound in Baltimore? Don't they have like a the East Coast accent? The ones that go to this play. They do not. They <laughs> They do not. I'm like, why that what the what the hell is happening? <laughs> Helen! Hel Helen <laughs> Helen! <laughs> Heather! Hannah! Get over here! Do you see this buster up here? <laughs> hey, listen here, tough guy. I played on the high school soccer team. I'll take you down, brother. You don't want to see my slide tackle. Ooh. That's how they talk. That is not <laughs> Nobody talks like that, will you? Checking the phone lines. Nobody is dialing in to 347-857-3937. Uh, uh, live on the blog talk radio. And uh, <clears throat> so this continues on. Um, an individual named Samit Verma was seated in the balcony when he heard the shouting and saw a man holding his hand straight up in a Nazi salute, he said in an email Thursday. The ushers rushed over to the man while audience members quickly made their way out of the theater and into the hall. Quote, The people around me appeared to be quite shaken by the incident. There were some people in tears, end quote. After several minutes, the offending theater goer, that's not a word. That is not one, one word, theater goer. Yes. I'm not going to tolerate this nonsense. Uh, <clears throat> this theater goer was quietly escorted out of the Baltimore theater. This motherfucker pay and plays aren't cheap. No, no, they're not. Well, like 30, 50 fucking dollars. Yeah. So that you could stand up and this nigga paid to troll. That that might be your whole internet bill. Tacky ass. Nobody on Twitter dorks. was getting triggered anymore. Huh. Yeah. You can't trigger the Rose Twitter, baby. <laughs> take your ass to the donut with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, take a look here. What he's got that that good fellas right here. Um so he was quietly escorted out by security and um, and the show continued without incident after the intermission ended. But Mr. Rich Schur said he thinks everyone was shaken up in the audience for the remainder of the night. A Baltimore police spokeswoman, mm -hmm. Detective Shakia Fenoy. Nigga, I don't know if you black or Irish. What the fuck? Shakia Fanoi said the overseers did respond to the hippodrome at a 9.40 in the p.m. on Wednesday, but no arrest was made and no report was written. The man just left on his own, she said. When asked by the police fellers, um, a response ended there and the spokeswoman 
Fanoy said she didn't have more details to share. So now that guy's just out there. Yeah, he's just fucking like which he's is just, the thing. Like, no name, no give me a nigga Facebook or something. He's just out there. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm not entirely comfortable with that, actually. I don't know. Okay. Yes. I, what? I don't know. I don't know. That motherfucker's just he's just floating around. Yeah, he's not He's probably uh, getting a gun right now so he can actually shoot up a mask for real. Just playing fucking, I don't know, Trumpy Mongo or whatever the fuck it is he's doing. Trumpy Mongo. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Okay. Huh, <laughs> mm-hmm. you huh. All right, so uh, some serious news. In Ireland, Yeah. women are protesting <clears throat> after a victim's underwear was used as evidence in a rape trial. Yeah. yeah. Wait, like, what do you think of that? Oh, well, it's like basically some slut shamey shit because she was wearing a thong. Oh, that's so they could basically hold them up like uh-huh. everybody see. Uh-huh. This is what she. Oh, so it's not evidence as in like fucking. Like DNA there's... or some shit. No, 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 no. No, no. it's just who wears these and gets raped. Yeah. The that's... victims do. That's who. That's yeah. That's basically what happened. Uh, protests have taken place in Ireland after the underwear a teenager was wearing uh, was cited in the trial of a man accused of raping her. In the course of the trial, defense lawyer Elizabeth O'Connell, it'd be your own people, uh, Elizabeth. Wait, defense. Yeah. Oh, de- yeah, defending mm-hmm. the rapist. Okay. Mm-hmm. It'd be your own people. Yeah, my brain broke. All right. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth O'Connell held up a pair of the 17-year-old's underwear in court and asked, you have to look at the way she was dressed. She was wearing a thong with a lace front. I know. That's, I mean, every she, every she? time I pass by a high school, there's fucking teenage girls with their underpants over their pants. <laughs> that's what's going on. I got the fu- Look at, you have to look at the way she was dressed. Who could see her thong? And know it was a lace front at that? You know how the kids are these days. They wrap them around their neck. Doug funny shit. Hang them. That's right. <laughs> fucking quail girl. You know, it, hanging them off their ear. That's what the kid. Why do you think they get those big, huge pierces in their ears? So they could thread their underpants through them. I don't think that's why they get those. Yes. I, uh, I think thonged undershorts can fit through those. They probably could. But I'm again, I don't think that's why they get them. Well, it, it may, may, cause you gotta think they're thong under shorts. Yeah. So it's like you want to rub out the skid marks after you take them off. So you kind of run them through that ear hole. That's not how it works. There are people who only tune into this program because you're on it. <laughs> if it was just me, they'd have been there are, gone. There are also people who turn, <laughs> tune into this program because you're on it. <laughs> um. And they hate each other. They do. Uh, So this was a 17-year-old victim, and the defense lawyer said, look at her underwear. Uh, The 27-year-old man was found not guilty of raping the teenager earlier this month. 27. O'Connell's comments, as reported by the Irish Examiner and others, provoked immediate uh, criticism with the Dublin Rape Crisis Center calling for legal reforms over the remarks, but uh, Rape Crisis said it was not questioning the verdict of the case. Uh, According to No... Nolene, that's a new one. Nolene Blackwell, the chief executive officer of the Rape Crisis Center, she said, these kind, oh, I wish I could do an Irish accent. Uh, these kind of mythologies and stereotypes around rape come up again and again in court cases because the defense to rape uh, is that the sex was consensual. So anything that the defendant can do to suggest there was consent will be used. On Wednesday, women gathered at demonstrations across Ireland to protest the handling of the case. The anger built an online movement called hashtag this is not consent after the trial kickstarted by the campaign group I Believe Her. Simply put, clothing is not consent. This kind of victim blaming is archaic and has no place in our system, said Susan Dillon, who was among the group of women who started the hashtag. We wanted to do something impactful that would draw attention to the issue and hence the use of underwear. Uh, In the days following the trial, hundreds of women tweeted images of their underwear asking how attitudes around consent remained archaic and problematic. I hate the word problematic so much. So much I hate that word. Uh, Many of the women who tweeted about this case uh, said that using the teenager's underwear was victim blaming. 
Uh, other women use a painted picture of the underwear. Sarah Scheel from Galway painted the cartoon and told BuzzFeed News that it was really overwhelming seeing the image everywhere. I was trying to come up with uh, ways to address my anger, said the 39-year-old, explaining that she created the image after a discussion over the case in her painting class. Afterwards, she made it public on Facebook and it, she said, quote, it really took off from there along with other women's pictures. She also added, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I knew there wasn't much chance to get to the march to protest, so I used the picture instead. Yeah. Uh, and then the message uh, was sent to the... I don't know how the fuck to say that. Uh, whatever. Man, the, go for it. Fire it out. The Irish version of the House of Representatives. When politician Ruth Coppinger held up a pair of underwear in the chamber... Coppinger said it might seem embarrassing to show a pair of thongs here, but how do you think the rape victim or a woman feels uh, in the setting where her underwear is being shown in court? So, yeah, it's I mean, that's an interesting way to protest. Let's see if it has any impact. All right, folks, um, anybody tuned in, uh, you can find Phoenix Khalid on the Twitter at Uppity Negress, and you can tell her that you want her to work on a miniature project. And um, of finding every single cis man that was taken to trial and convicted of rape and whatever he was wearing, we put pictures of those clothes up and any man wearing those clothes determined him to be a rapist. That'd be a miniature project for Phoenix Cleeter to work on. Nice Twitter thread. Uh, hashtag what rapists wear. You know what? That's not a bad hashtag. It's going to piss off a lot of men, though. What? They wear jeans? I I don't even know if any men other than Michael Graham still tune into the program. Maybe Hotep Mike. Well, I mean, I was talking about more who's going to respond on Twitter, but yeah. Oh. They'll be oh. upset. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, good. Yeah, good. The pro, yeah, I get the pro-black crowd is mad at me again. Well, yeah. Yeah. So you were doing nigger stuff. Yes, I was. What were you doing? Oh, um, they were basically saying that, like, feminism has never done anything to help black men and boys, and that the idea that uh, men cannot be raped came from feminism. Wait, the, who, who, wait, who was saying that men can't be raped? Who, verbatim quote. Oh, I don't, these, these guys on Twitter, they're like, that's something feminism said. I'm like, that's not, feminists actually advocated to expand the did legal. They, did, did they name which feminists? Oh, of course I'm not. stuff. Of course not. <laughs> Of course they don't, because they don't know. Because, like, I research feminist theory. I'm like, well, who, you know, you asked who said that. Well, I read it. Okay, but who, you know, they can't answer questions because they never actually read it. And then there's some guy who told me to shut up and buy his book because he explains it. Shut up and buy his... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good sales pitch, buddy. <laughs> shut up and buy the book. I'm going to do that at the end of this <laughs> program. How about you shut up and sign up to the Patreon, fucko? <laughs> yeah, shut up. Yeah, shut up and buy the book. Um, Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's, that is outstanding. <laughs> it's Free Thought Thursday in the wine cellar. When we're not on the show, Father Teresa yells at me. Yeah, all right. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Shut up and buy my book. Yo, it'd be wild and tell him Quali's threads, though. Oh, that's where it's going on. Yup, yup. And so that's how Liv Quali got mad at him and like, it was like, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, here he like... goes. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, so yeah. Anyways, back to the show notes. Uh, Ohio, if you live in Ohio, call your representatives. It might help, maybe, because Ohio lawmakers are planning a fetal heartbeat bill again for like the fifth time. <sighs> Columbus, Ohio, the GOP-controlled House of Representatives is poised to approve a controversial proposal to ban abortions after a fetal heartbeat can be detected, even though Kasich has vetoed it before. The so-called heartbeat bill would penalize doctors who perform abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected, sometimes as early as six weeks. Yo. Yes. Kasich. Yes. The Republican guy? Uh. I that ran in the primary? Yes. No shit. Yeah. He vetoed it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think it was because he was pro-life. I think he thought it would be, like, too much of a legal challenge and that it was just cost the state a bunch of money to try to fight it. Hmm. Because it was, like, you know, too much uh, opposing Roe versus Wade. But I bet now. That, we're going to get to that. Yeah, because we got bad boy Brett. Yeah, we're going to get. Did you find the Kit Kat sneaker? Hmm. You found that one? Uh, the ones in the black wrapper, not the ones in the orange. Oh, the orange got eaten. I didn't know. Oh, so the black ones were the ones you were looking for? Yes. I thought you were looking for the orange ones. Damn, nigga, you know I'm always looking for the black ones. All right. Uh, 
as a weird we had a we had a Kit Kat situation in this house. We, we did. We are a couple of fat niggas, and we just we got snack stashes and shit. It's going down. Okay, so the Kit Kats were buy one get one free for Halloween trick or treating candy. So of course, I got my free bag. Um, <laughs> anyways. So, um, anyone who performed an abortion after that point could face a fifth-degree felony punishable by up to a year in prison. Kasich already vetoed the bill once and said he would do it again if the GOP lawmakers sent the proposal his way. Right. Now, uh, in this bill, there are some exceptions. An abortion would be permitted if it would keep the pregnant woman from dying or suffering a, quote, substantial and irreversible impairment of a major bodily function. Wait, What? Are they talking about pregnancy being a major bodily function? No, no, no. They're saying that, like, if the pregnancy is making you sick, you can only get an abortion if it's going to cause permanent irreversible damage to your body. So, like, things like diabetes, hypertension, you know, those don't count as because those can be reversed. So it has to be, like, permanent organ damage or something. Yeah. Because sadism, really. Sadism. You need to be in pain sufficient to me yes for me to grant you this yes fucking sadist same thing with the fucking um the the the, the rape stick the, yeah uh, oh the transvaginal ultrasound yeah yes. the uh, rape stick it yeah, yeah. It basically shorten is. it up yeah yeah uh doctors could also perform an abortion if a medical emergency prevents a heart uh, fetal heartbeat from being detected if approved by the House, the bill would need approval from the Senate before going to Kasich. When Kasich uh, vetoed the bill in December 2016, he argued the heartbeat bill was, quote, clearly contrary to the Supreme Court of the United States' current rulings on abortion. He instead, see, because he is still Republican, he instead signed a, a law that bans abortions after 20 weeks. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> Mix, mixed, mixed, right? Isn't he that fucking big-lipped white man kind of looks like a fish? Nigga, they all, all white politicians are, all politicians are ugly for the he most does, part. He does, like, know. he's a trout mouth motherfucker, Fucking, though. Like, he is uniquely. So he should hang out with Mitch McConnell and they can make, like, an underwater exhibit <laughs> with his turtle ass neck. That, that would be interesting. <laughs> That'd be a, a, quite a sight. Like, <laughs> like John Kasich, like, kissing the folds under Mitch McConnell's <laughs> neck. That, that is Broadway level shit right there. Woo! I'd go see it. And if somebody yells, how Hitler, I'm kicking your ass off the balcony. Yeah, don't fucking do that shit. I'm, yeah. fucking, I'm fucking swinging. I'm assuming you're here to kill me. I'm fucking swinging. Yeah, do not interrupt my McConnell neck moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Representative Ron Hood from Asheville, Republican, said he's optimistic the U.S. Supreme Court would rule differently with the addition of two conservative justices appointed by Trump. Thank you, Joe Manchin, for voting for both of them. <laughs> Democrats appreciate it. And that nigga, um, that motherfucker with the best of the left podcast, like he made a long argument because he said Joe Manchin doesn't always vote with Republicans. I don't always vote Republican. I just vote Republican when it really, really hurts Democrats. Uh, Jay <laughs> Tomlinson, that's the fucker's name. I ain't got no beef with the nigga, but I was like, that's kind of weak. Yeah. Like make Democrats be Democrat. Well, it'll make them be what they fucking pretend to be at least. Yeah. So um, Kasich said he would veto again. However, governor-elect Mike DeWine, who is also Republican, doesn't share Kasich's concerns about the anti-abortion measure. He <laughs> promised to sign the heartbeat bill after taking office next year. Oh, there you have it. So, ha ha, don't get pregnant in Ohio. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, you know. Hey. I mean, call your reps. It might you wanna do... Take it to Florida and get the heck out of here. We can. Because I want to eat more food. I bust oh, my ass at work today, and food. I just, I worked up a gnarly fucking hunger. Oh, so because you were hungry. Yeah, like I fucking, I bought, I got a bag of chips and two soda pops on the way home from work, yeah. sat here, ate these Kit Kats while broadcasting, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go eat some fucking soft tacos and, uh, I don't know, have a um, Modelo or something. While I'm scrolling, trying to find this uh, Florida story, just an FYI, I am keeping um, an eye on the Prince George County story. Apparently, um, cops from different departments, one's from D.C., and then Prince George County itself, are involved in some sort of sex scandal involving trans sex workers, where trans sex workers came forward and said they were being coerced to provide sexual services, so they didn't get arrested. And then I guess there's, like, video evidence, and there's, like, pictures of these cops, like, walking around without their pants on in somebody's house and shit, and 
you know, being engaged with the sex workers. So I'm keeping an eye on it. There's an internal investigation. Yeah, you had a pause in that sentence where I was like, you said walking around with their pants on in someone's house. I was <laughs> yeah. like, all right. Well, yeah, it- okay. okay, so this is, th- so, so far the police are saying like, but they were off duty, but they were wearing the shirt. And so there's like apparently an image of one cop wearing like, Prince George County police shirt showed up in a cop car and then he's just there pantsless after walking away with the trans sex worker. So it's like, I think we all know what happened here. He was serving and protecting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Down, down here in Florida. Um, of course his name is fucking Jared. Uh, <laughs> He's a 37-year-old individual out of Volusia County, and he got arrested in Lake Helen, Florida. Um, And this was on Tuesday after uh, the police fellers received a tip about explosive materials in his home. Um, The policy overseers discovered jars of highly highly explosive substance, uh, woo, (laughs) triacetone, Triperoxide, triacetone triperoxide, which is a uh, white crystal powder called the Mother of Satan by terrorist groups like Al Qaeda. So he literally is Y'all Qaeda. Yep. The, you, gotta, you gotta play your song. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I need to. Put, yeah. I should put all my raps in the soundboard. Yeah. Yeah, they, they make good bumpers. Save us time, then we could fucking find our links and get it together. Oh yeah, That'd the, be good. So the substance was uh, used in the 2017 Manchester bombing, the 2015 Paris attacks, and by the shoe bomber Richard Reed in 2001. That's why I had to take off my Chuck Taylors at the airport, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and this was according. Really, we we come across this sheriff. Fairly often on this show, <laughs> Sheriff Mike Shitwood. Yes, yes. Like at some point, we just got to bring him on. Like you know, I don't like cops, but I've mentioned you a lot. So tell us some stories. Like tell us some <laughs> shit that didn't make the news. I bet Mr. Shitwood would shit. How much? How much? Wait, how much wood would a shit would shit if a shit would could shit wood? I don't know. Um, so Mr. Jared. Coburn uh, told the police fellers that he began making explosives when he discovered a passion for model rockets and began to experiment with other types of explosives. When those model rockets weren't exciting enough, according to the police report, Mr. Coburn said he used YouTube videos to progress his knowledge. I would just like to point out that YouTube has been getting criticized of late because hi, it's turning kids into Nazis. This guy has gray hair in his beard, and this is what he picked up. Yes. This is what he said. I want to do something new. Do the typical white man thing. Get a Corvette and, and a and a goofy fucking haircut with too much gel. Oh, I thought you were gonna say buy a gun. Um, ah, he's got one of those. That's nothing. It's <laughs> Florida. <laughs> he's probably stood his ground several times. Fucking probably. <laughs> Fucking, we just be speculatizing the fuck out of shit. Some of this is kind of irresponsible, but I think people know it's comedy by now. I think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So, uh, so Mr. Coburn also told the police fellers he wasn't actually making bombs, just trying to create my own version of fireworks. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> me i wasn't making a bomb i was making my own version of fireworks first of all fireworks are sparkly bombs like yeah. let's just fucking get that out of the fucking way <laughs> Fuck. fucking christ <laughs> so back to sheriff shitwood uh sheriff shitwood said the uh Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Bureau of Alcohol to Bureau. I'm not good at saying that word. Bureau. 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 I can't fucking do it. Uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives. Uh, they were at the house to help move the substance. 
um, adding that the police fellers would use a robot to move and detonate the chemicals. Uh, later in the night, the police fellers tweeted, If you heard a boom in Lake Helen, that was us detonating one of the items. All good. There will be more booms, so don't be alarmed! Exclamation. They're having fun doing that shit. They are having fun. But also, could you imagine, like, if you fucking live in that, like, area? And oh, you just, fuck. Like, you just, and, like, you're like, I'm just gonna follow the police to see what's going on and get, you know, local news. Uh, we're blowing shit up down the block, just... Don't mind the booms. And what if you just finished a 12-pack while listening to Alex Jones? Ah. It's time to start shooting in the air, buddy. <laughs> Not in the air. You're like, you know, you gotta like go out in the bushes and look for the Antifas. Yep. Oh, man, it's Black Tifa. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and the Bilderbergs. They're coming to get me. <laughs> I heard Katie Halper's with them. Jews! Like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gonna fucking bug out. Yes. Um, Mr. Coburn has been charged with making or possessive explosives and two counts of making or possessing a destructive device, according to the police records. Mr. Coburn has been charged with making or... Oh, shit. That uh, paragraph is doubled. Oh, I'll fix that. <laughs> I can fix that. Jeb can fix it. Yes. Uh, that was a thing. Uh, fucking a thing. shit. You know what? What? just for funsies one day we should just fucking you know how you can google in quotes mm -hmm. or yahoo search in quotes my bad folks yes, yes you can yahoo search in quotes put in um sheriff shitwood and just fucking even if they're old even if it's some shit from like 2007 yeah you know like that that that'd be a good that, 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 that could be a little an extracurricular episode nice yeah Let's because see. yeah he he's right down there in the belly of it mm -hmm. in the belly of the beast uh, <clears throat> oh, and also a shout out to uh, on Twitter nickname who told me what blacked out drunk means. Remember we covered the story about the woman who stole the lobster and was like, I don't know, I was blacked out drunk. Uh, ah. Apparently, uh, to everyone else in the country outside of Chicago, it <laughs> means that you are sober enough to like get home or go to bed, but you lose time when you wake up. You don't remember what you did, but you're not like passing out drunk. Hmm. I don't know. I've never heard them used differently, so maybe Chicago is just like, we, we don't make a distinction because that's just how much we drink. I don't fucking know. It actually means it's when you've been drinking nigger drinks. Uh, that's what it means. It, it, that's it, what that's it... It's not... Yeah, it's mine. No. Yeah. No. And then you were like hanging out with Afro Man, you know, playing some... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Play a little table tennis and whatnot. Table tennis with Afro Man. Hell Yeah. If you land the ball in his afro, you get 500 points. <laughs> Does he still even have an afro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've seen his uh, relatively recent videos. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I like how it was titled Phoenix Clay to Rant Mode, and I didn't actually rant about anything. Oh, fuck, you didn't. I, yeah, I better change that. Yeah, you change that. <laughs> I will um, record something tomorrow about my rantiness. Which I'm just like very disappointed by people who protect abusers in social justice circles. And then when the abuser crosses them, they're like, look at all these bad things this abusive person did. And it's like, but you didn't care until they didn't like you. I also want to know if that person was at the uh, Dakota Access Pipeline. I don't know. They, 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 you know they were. Everybody mm -hmm. who says they're an activist is activizing all the fucking time. I'm, I don't need to do this. I'm organizing. Like, nigga, you can't fucking organize a grocery list. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're not organizing shit. Organize. People have, and people really just throw that word around. Organizing is fucking hard. Try organizing six people. Yeah. Shit. Uh, fucking, what, so what do we hit up? We hit up, uh, I mean, I would call that last one white on white crime. We got yeah. good cops. We got yes. environmentalism. Yes. Shit, we got rape culture. The conservative toys for children. Holy shit. Yeah. This is one hellified wine cellar episode. Yeah. All right. Uh, and if you want more hellified wine cellar episodes, you can keep this shit alive. You can pay the tax by choice so that everybody can drive on this road. Uh, PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William patreon.com slash wine cellar media fund please be as safe as possible wherever you are they go to facebook live and get on rid of that there it ain't such funny a, man you're such a dork you're a dork no i'm not then why are you dorky i'm not it's a fact-based truth damn we did all that in 54 minutes 
fantastic. All right, YouTube, you go fuck yourself. Come on.